Hey, so just wanted to make a quick video. We, like, we're about to leave here in, um, I don't know, like four or five hours, four hours probably to go to the airport, but we were on Kickstart today and we did a breakout where we went out in groups and John and I went with um, Celeste, I think is her name. I don't know. I'll get it for sure, but, um, oh, we were going to pray for Jorge, who is really sick, um, and he was just somebody that John, John had, like, shared the gospel with somebody at the hardware store, and that guy from the hardware store, like, called John and was like, hey, there's this kid, he's, he's really sick, but he's, like, open to receive prayer, and, um, and so we did, like, we, we went, um, and on the way, it was crazy because the gal we were with was like, was like, I was kind of scared because um, she's like, when I saw you yesterday, I saw me yesterday, she's like, because I saw you in a dream with John, like, and she, ne I never met her before, like, this is the second time somebody had like seen me in a dream, which was crazy, um, and I was like, okay, yeah, like, let's go, like, and so we got there and we were like, hey, John was like, hey, you know, the Holy Spirit, like sometimes he brings us someplace for another reason. Like, let's let's talk to Holy Spirit. And I just knew like Holy Spirit was like, you are not here just to heal somebody. Like there's gonna be like, um, it's a spiritual, a spiritual battle right now. And so I knew we were going in to a spiritual battle. So like we prayed like the armor over ourselves and we went in and um, Jorge has, has AIDS and was unable to walk. He was completely laid out in a chair, did not look well in his face, um, and couldn't walk. And, um, so we, John talked to him for a little while and I was just sensing from Holy Spirit, like he was just like downloading to me, like spirit of infirmity, you need to cast that thing out. Um, and then he, he was just like, John was like, do you need to say, like, is there anything you need to, you want to add, you want to say? And I was like, no, because like Holy Spirit had told me, he was like, you'll know when. And I was just like, no, Holy Spirit said, I'll know when. And he was like, okay. Like, so we just kept going and he shared the gospel. And the whole time, like, anytime he brought up the name of Jesus, there was tons of distractions going on. There was dogs barking, there was people yelling, there was kids screaming and stuff. And it was just like hard to concentrate. And um, John was like, he looked over at me at one point. He was like, hey, can you pray against this distraction? Because every time I mean, I try to bring up Jesus, like, there's distractions. And so I just started praying against spirit of distraction. And um, and I looked at the gal with me. And I was like, espiritu de distracciones. And she was like, yes, yes. And so she started praying against it. And I swear, like, I got this, like, image of, like, this dome, like, bubble around us. Um, and I, Holy Spirit was just like holding back all these distractions and it got better. Like John was able to go through the gospel in the middle of it too. This lady shows up on, on a motorcycle. Like we finally like come and answer the door and we find out that she like was somebody that used to work with Jorge and that he owed a bunch of money to her. And like she would come and like yell and like she'd call on the phone and just like yell at him and stuff like that about, about paying this money. And they had said, like, you should come see him. He's sick. He's not well. And so she come, came in the middle of this happening and, like, came up to him. And, like, you could tell, like, she looked, like, like, so, like, like not so, not remorseful, but she definitely looked like she was empathetic in a moment. She forgave his debt, like, right there and was like, like, hey, your debt is forgiven. Like, I hope you get better. And, like, shook his hand and everything. And he just started weeping. His parents started weeping. Um, or his mom, mom and his aunt started weeping. Oh, Jesus. And so then I turned to John. I was like, that's not the only debt that's been paid. There's been a greater debt paid. And it was like, Jesus paid your greater debt. And then he just jumped right back in the gospel. We got through, like, three-fourths of it. And he, um, John just felt like we needed to stop and pray for him. And we prayed for Holy Spirit to come. And we started casting out spirit of infirmity, started casting out spirit of homosexuality, spirit of uh, uh, like Jezebel, and just started casting out these spirits. And he was able to stand up. John was like, hey, part of like taking it, like being healed is, is having faith. And so with faith, when you stand and walk, and he stood up, was able to stand up. He hasn't done that in forever. They've been carrying him, like literally carrying him to the toilet so he can go to the bathroom. Um, prayed over his legs, and he and he walked, and he was walking, and without pain in his legs.
¿Podías? ¿Podías sí, caminar sí, hace rato? Hace rato no podías caminar solito. Y ya no te duele mucho. Ya no me duele mucho. Solo este me tiembla un poco, pero para pisar. Es milagroso, doña. Es milagroso. Gloria a Dios, dale gloria, dale gloria. He's here tonight going to get baptized because he wants to be born again. He wants to repent of his sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of his sins and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. His mom's with him too. I'm hoping that she either like is born again today, tomorrow or, or coming soon. Wow, like Jesus is like on fire down here. Holy Spirit's doing some amazing, amazing things. And so I'll get some video of his baptism a little bit later, but. No te vas a ahogar, pero te ayudo, okay? Okay, great, great. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us and wants to show people how much God loves them. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God.